If you've been trying to grow your audience on Facebook, then most likely you've been posting Facebook Reels. Or if you're in the ads on Facebook Reels program and you're trying to earn money from your content that you're posting in the program, then you definitely want to watch this video because I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of new updates that Facebook has made to Facebook Reels that are not only going to help you get paid more money for your Facebook Reels, but also help you grow your following, make better content, and achieve whatever desired outcome you personally have for why you're creating Facebook Reels. A lot of the updates that Facebook has made with Facebook Reels have taken place inside of the professional dashboard. But before we get into those, I wanna share some very strategic things that you need to know so that you can understand this in the proper light. Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels are direct competitors to TikTok. And so the first thing people think is that Facebook is simply copying TikTok to try to mimic their success, but that is not the full story. Meta's goal is never simply to copy another platform. Instead, their goal is to commoditize the feature so that it's no longer special and it loses its novelty effect so that people aren't excited about it as they once were. When Snapchat stories became popular, they adopted stories on Instagram, then they passed them over to Facebook so that all of their billions of users were no longer amazed by stories because everyone had access to them. And they've done the same thing with Facebook Reels. First, they introduced Reels to Instagram, then they introduced Reels to Facebook, and now billions of people are interacting with Reels. And Reels have even reached places on the planet where TikTok has not yet arrived so that when TikTok does show up, people will think that TikTok is copying Facebook. How ironic is that? Business Insider released this article a few days ago where Morgan Stanley, the popular financial investment institution, did a study about Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, and TikTok, and TikTok seems to be flattening and Meta is projected to earn even more revenue this year as their Reels grow on both Facebook and Instagram. So while initially Facebook and Instagram were getting their heinies handed to them, it seems that they've bounced back in the short form content race and they are very relevant. So don't despair if you're trying to build an audience on Facebook or Instagram. There's still a great opportunity for you to reach whatever your content creator goals are on either of those platforms. But let's look at some of these updates and see how Facebook or Meta is commoditizing the different features that we've all been accustomed to with TikTok, but are now available in app on Facebook. Tap on your icon in the bottom right corner, then go to Professional Dashboard. Once it opens up, scroll down and you will see a tab that says Inspirational Hub. Once you get inside of the Inspirational Hub, one of the first things you're gonna see is an opportunity to explore templates. They've had templates on Instagram for some time now, and we all know that templates are mimicking CapCut templates. And so these are easy ways for you to put together videos by simply taking clips that are already in your phone and then uploading them and the editing is already done so that it creates an automatic video for you that can possibly get a lot of good engagement. The Inspiration Hub also shows you popular hashtags. So if you're looking for what's trending on Facebook right now, you want to go to the Inspiration Hub and then start searching the hashtags and looking to see if you can put your own particular angle on any of these videos. Another thing the Inspiration Hub is going to show you is a list or catalog of reels that are performing really well right now. And so you can tap see all and it will show you all of the reels that are doing great on Facebook at the time. The next section is gonna show you some popular songs that you can use in your music. We've already discussed using music in Facebook Reels. A lot of times they get demonetized, but make sure you stay to the end of this video because I have some great news for some of you who are going to have a great opportunity when it comes to using music in your Facebook Reels. And then the last section, they don't break the Reels down by hashtags or anything, but simply great popular topics, which I prefer because it's easier just to scroll through the topics and see what topics are actually hot on Facebook right now to get ideas about what reels you should be making for Facebook. In addition to the new inspiration hub, Facebook is also making it easier to actually create reels from Facebook. Now we all know that the Facebook reel editing app has been the worst of all the short form content apps. My previous ranking of the short form content editing apps would be TikTok number one, Instagram number two, YouTube number three, and Facebook number four. But with this new update, I'm going to have to move Facebook up above YouTube's editing app and place it at number three. 
It's still not better than Instagram's or CapCut for me, but it is a very decent upgrade. When you get ready to create a reel now, you're gonna see a tab that says ReadyMade. And ReadyMade is an expansion and a further development of a tool that they've already had. But Facebook has been creating automatic reels from content or videos that you upload for some time now, but it's only getting better as they begin to use more AI in all of their development and in all of their tools. And there are many paid services where you can upload long form content and the artificial intelligence will clip your short form content for you. But Facebook is bringing that tool into the actual application so that if you're somebody who goes live with your audience a lot, or you upload a lot of long form content for in-stream ads, this tool is gonna help you automatically capture the best moments and turn those into reels by reformatting the video from landscape like YouTube and making it vertical. So if you've already been creating long form content, now when you finish that live video or you upload that video, you should see a prompt that's gonna give you the opportunity to go ahead and clip that video to create your reel from it. So if you look at the post composer, you can see that I can go to my gallery and choose a photo or video already in my phone. I can go to things I've saved. I can go to my drafts, but there are four basic options. You can use green screen, effect, music, or camera whenever you're creating your reel. And so let's just say I go green screen and then I choose a background, put myself at the beach, click done. And then I'm gonna start recording like I'm recording a reel just so I can show you guys what the editing features actually look like now. And we're gonna stop right there. Recording like I'm recording a reel just so I can show you guys what the editing features actually look like now. Facebook's new editing interface allows you to add text and audio very similar to other applications, but it allows you to do so in layers. And this is more in keeping with actual video editing. Also, there are several other features that allow you to enhance the video that you just created such as adding more content, reshooting a particular portion of the content, changing the speed of a particular portion of the content, cropping the video, reversing the video, mirroring the video, and even splitting the video so that you can take out long and uncomfortable pauses or mistakes that you made when you recorded the video. Something else you wanna look at is the Clip Hub right here. It's a new feature in Facebook Reels and it's gonna show you a lot of different things that you can add to enhance the content that you've already created. And so if you come right here, you can see their reactions, transitions, trending, TV and movies, music, greetings, memes, and all of these clips are meant to add and enhance the content that you've already created. So with this update to Facebook Reels, I really believe that they're trying to give you the tools you need to create better content that people engage with on the platform. Another major update that's come to Facebook professional mode that I've already made a video about is the ability to actually run ads with your content in Facebook professional mode. And I do believe that this was their end game to get creators bought into the platform so that they can start paying to have their content shared more and to gain more visibility and to build their audience just like you will for a business page, which is going to increase their revenue and their bottom line as a company but it's also going to be a great opportunity for those of us who do have a business on the back end of our content. And if you don't have a business, digital product, or something else that you're offering on the back end of your content, then you're playing a very long and a very hard to win game in the content creation space because very few people are going to make a full-time income doing what they love like Mr. Beast does simply by making videos. There needs to be something extra that you are responsible for independent of the platform. We've covered some of the things that are coming to your Facebook professional dashboard, but here is one more that is really important. You are going to get analytics and insights that were previously only available in Meta Business Suite added to your professional dashboard. These include page and profile level reels insights on each reel on reach and interactions and individual reels insights such as new followers attributed to a reel, distribution health, and retention graphs showing how long viewers watched. So the retention graph is something that's already been instituted on Instagram and so they're bringing it over to Facebook now. But the distribution health is something that is new because that is going to be in direct correlation to your reach and it's going to function somewhat like a report card for your content. This is probably going to be the single most important insight that you can look at 
to make sure your content is performing the way you like it to. But there's more. In the coming weeks, they're going to be rolling out new metrics on the professional dashboard that will let creators know how their content is performing on a granular level. So this is going to be very detailed. And we've seen some of this that they've mentioned, like with the performance bonus, how they're going to let creators see which post is earning how much money. And then creators can really get down to the details of what their content is doing. I really like the transparency that Facebook is coming out with in this new update across their different bonuses and programs. But it's also going to show levels of interaction. That is definitely going to be interesting to see how how deep people actually go with each piece of content and consumption by format. So how do people consume your text posts, your image posts, your videos, your reels, your lives, your stories? This is going to be good as well as by followers and non followers across all of your content. In addition to net followers, creators will see how many followers they gain and lost in a specific time frame. So this is just awesome because it's going to let you know how people are consuming your content in all these different for formats based on whether they follow you or don't follow you. So the people who don't follow you yet, they may love your reels, but the people who do follow you may love your tech statuses. This is going to be really good. And for those creators who get brand deals and they post content on Facebook to meet the requirements of those deals, they're also testing the ability to cross post Instagram branded content reels and stories to Facebook, increasing campaign reach and impact. This is going to help you more than it helps the brand because this is going to allow you to get better results for brands that you work with so that you can charge more because not only is your Instagram reel going to be shown on Instagram, but it's going to be shown on Facebook, giving you more reach, more impact, and therefore you raise the prices when you agree or you negotiate on the contract term. And for creators who have Facebook pages, they're making it easier to give their brand partners permission to run ads from their Facebook page. These ads also tag the brand partner, bringing more reach and scale to their collaborations. Again, this is another win for create. And last but not least, I told you guys something was coming. We already know that Facebook has updated the payout model for ads on Reels and they now pay per view, similar to the way they did for the Reels bonus, but now they're going to be testing with a small group of creators the ability to monetize reels using popular music from their music library. This means that some creators are going to be able to use the same music that we've all been getting notifications saying that we're unable to monetize our videos when we use in their reels right now and get paid for it. Now, I don't know how Facebook is gonna work this out on the back end with the record labels and the publishing companies and all of that. But if this is different than the rev share model, where Facebook and the musician took the lion's share of the money, then this is going to be a great opportunity for people posting reels on Facebook. And if you're having trouble getting views for your Facebook reels or growing your audience on Facebook, I have a video here about how to get more followers on Facebook. But I also have another video that I'll put down here at the bottom that's going to show you a new and simple strategy that the biggest creators on Facebook are using to grow massively wild audiences on Facebook with Facebook reels.